The state's new congressional delegation has three new faces, but one face is staying the same. Josh McElvin talked with Senator Jean Shaheen at her office in Washington this morning about working with her new colleagues. Unfortunately, the rainy weather today forced the cancellation of that class photograph with all the new members of Congress who's supposed to take place on the Capitol steps. That will be now rescheduled to a day where the weather is more clear. What isn't clear, however, is how the brand new Republicans are going to mesh with the Democrats who have already been in Washington. We sat down with Senator Jean Shaheen to talk about that very thing. In only her second year of her first way, term, Senator Jean Shaheen suddenly finds herself the senior member of New Hampshire's congressional delegation. But it's not as if those coming down to Washington to join her are exactly strangers. All the people who are part of New Hampshire's new delegation are people who I've known and worked with over the years. So I expect that we will continue to get along very well, just as the previous delegation did. Of course, Senator Shaheen is also now the lone Democrat in the delegation. But she's hopeful that the message sent by voters on Election Day isn't lost on anyone. They want to see people in Washington work together. They want to see us address the challenges this country's facing, and they want to see us do it in a bipartisan way. So I hope that that's one of the messages that everybody got as the result of this past election. But there's also some pressing business in the lame duck session, including the recommendations of the White House Deficit Reduction Commission, which, by the way, Senator Judd Gregg is a key member of, and what to do about those expiring Bush tax cuts. We also have to look at unemployment extension because that's running out and we still have too many people who don't have jobs. So those are three items on the agenda that are fairly immediate. And regardless of party, Senator Shaheen senses a vibe in the air in Washington. He hopes that Congress, both new and old, can seize the opportunity. Certainly there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of passion for uh, addressing the challenges ahead and uh, a lot of excitement. And so that hopefully bodes well for our ability to get things done. Now, despite the Republican wave, a lot of people do forget that the Democrats still hold the majority in the Senate. And of course, they still hold the White House. So it should be interesting to see how this all plays out. Swearing in will take place for the new members of Congress and the Senate just after the first of the year. In Washington, D.C., Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.